letter to the Galatians in chapter 3 verses 11 to 14. St. Paul tells us, now it is evident that no man is justified before God by the law. For he who through faith is righteous shall live. But the law does not rest on faith, but he who does them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, 
for it is written cursed be every one who hangs on a tree that is Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come upon the gentiles that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith lord it is in faith that we have an opening o oh god to receive the fulfillment of the promises as st paul rightly tells us to corinthians 5:7 walk by faith and not by sight and today lord it is through faith that we are able to fathom oh god the power of your mercy and your love and your glory that will clothe us and as st paul continues to the galatians in chapter 4 verses 3 and 8 so with us when we were children we were slaves to the elemental spirits of the universe but when the time had fully come god sent forth his son born of woman born under the law to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons and because you are sons god has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts crying abba father so through god you are no longer a slave but a son and if a son then an heir formerly when you did not know god you were in bondage to being that by nature are no gods you were in bondage to beings that by no nature by nature are no gods lord you came to reveal to us lord that all that we connected to o oh god needs to be disengaged that our faith lord and trust may be in you the one who has come to save us all the false understandings the false doctrines lord as in paul says even the law cannot give us an opening to you but it is in believing it is in faith it is in coming to you it is in obedience lord and humbling ourselves before your law your desires your mercy your compassion that we are set free titus 2:11 to 15 for the grace of god has appeared for the salvation of all men training us to renounce irreligion and worldly passions and to live sober upright and godly lives in this world awaiting our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great god and our savior jesus christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all iniquity and to purify for himself a people of his own who was zealous for good deeds declare these things exhort and reprove with all authority let no one disregard you lord as we place ourselves at the foot of the cross today as we journey o oh god with our crosses as you said lord take up your crosses and follow me let the power of your revelations come let your glory o oh god clothe us let the power o oh god jesus of new understanding dawn in us through your faithfulness through your love may we lose ourselves o oh god in your love and lord we will live we will have an experience of the abundance promised 
and the ultimate good of god through to which we are drawn lord through all that jesus we have experienced and known and understood through the five senses and through a lord our emotions and desires intentions and circumstances and we had for all the actions that we have done let the power of your healing descend on us lord as we are no more slaves as we are no more o oh god jesus bound by false doctrines but return to you to be set free to be liberated come lord jesus and speak to our hearts open our hearts o oh lord to the power of the new and glorious graces that you are showering upon us lord and the revelations that come to us from your great presence may we be one o oh god with you may we be one in in spirit lord as we seek you as we desire you let your mercy prevail over all that we are and you are the one o oh god who gives us each breath and out of your kindness you saved us from death lord you are the one who makes us complete as we turn to you lord we are never in need you are the one we love we breathe for we need you o oh lord Oh 
most high let us praise him let us worship the living god let us cry out to him from the depths of our being today he has come to reveal to us his great love his power that will transform everything for our good thank you jesus you are the lord you are the shepherd you are our fortress and you are our strength come savior come lord thank you jesus praise you jesus that we have been deceived cheated abused and lord bound by the enemy you have come to give us liberation you have come to give us lord new life you have come to lord destroy the works of the enemy over us me each breath out of your kindness you save me from the lord most high you are the one you are the one who makes me complete with you my jesus i'm never in need lord Oh, 
reigns over our lives. And you are the you alone, O God, are our provider, our deliverer and healer. And we thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God of holiness is calling you and me to be holy. That deep down in our conscience, which is man's most secret core, which is a sanctuary, there where he is alone with God, and whose voice echoes in his depth. We seek to purify our conscience, being man's most secret core, where he is alone with God. where he hears the voice of God echoing in his depths. We seek to inform our conscience by the divine law, by the authoritative teachings of the church. For this conscience with judges in each situation and circumstances that have taken place in our lives, that are taking place in our lives, and that are yet to take place in our lives, we are able to be judged by reason. This is what the conscience does. And in and through our conscience, the human person recognizes in every act, recognizes what is good, what is to be followed, and what is evil, and what is to be rejected. So it is through the conscience that a person recognizes the moral qual quality of an act. And when a man has committed evil, his conscience judges that act and passes that verdict for the one who has committed evil through the conscience that is a witness to that act and which passes a judgment, a verdict. This conscience becomes a pledge of conversion and of hope. There is hope that this person who is convicted by the conscience will rise through conversion And therefore, in this hour of mercy, we pray to the Holy Spirit to lead us to have a well-formed conscience. As St. Paul tells us in Philippines 4 and 8, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, Whatever is gracious, if there be any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. We are called to grow in virtue. For a virtuous person tends towards the good in everything. This is what a virtuous person reaches out for. Whatever is good, 
A virtuous person reaches out for good instructions. A virtuous person scans and searches the divine law, the holy scriptures, to be in conformity with what is put forth in the holy scriptures, the voice of God, God's word in the holy scriptures. so that our conscience may be well-formed, may be informed. For a well-formed conscious, conscience is upright and truthful. And this is the conscience that we pray for. That our conscience being formed in a way that, that it becomes upright and truthful is able to make right judgments according to reason. And that our reason be confirmed with the true good that is willed by the wisdom of the Creator. This is the task of every human being. that every human being must avail himself of the means to form his conscience. A human being must always obey the certain judgment of his conscience, or this conscience can become blind as a person habitually makes choices contrary to the judgment of the conscience. The conscience will, can become deaf and blind. When a person consciously and deliberately tends towards what is evil, And therefore, let us be men and women ever seeking for the light, for the word of God to light our path. Let us be men and women who are always assimilating, gathering together the wisdom in God's word and doing that in faith and in prayer. Let us be men and women who are constantly seeking to put the word of God into practice. Not merely stopping with knowing it. And by doing this, by seeking the word of God to, to be a light for our path and by assimilating it, seeking to understand it, seeking to imitate it, seeking to take it into our lives, that it may fashion our thoughts, it may shape our words and our actions. And as we do this in faith and in prayer, putting it into practice in our lives, in this way, a moral conscience is formed and God is calling us to form this conscience that every action of ours may be judged by this conscience and that we may choose what is good and that we may grow in virtues. Which is a firm disposition in us to do good something that becomes a habit in us. We pray that our good conscience may always lead us to choose what is good and that becomes habitual in us. And this allows a person not only to perform good deeds but to give the best of himself or herself. 
And this is what Jesus is telling us, that we may bear much fruit, that we may give glory to God. Yes, the Divine Master will hear our prayer, will have mercy on us, that each one of us will have this beautiful grace of not only performing good acts, but to give the best of ourselves, that we may always tend towards the good with all that we have, with our senses, with every faculty, with all the spiritual powers within us, that we may pursue the good and to choose what is good in all the concrete actions. Yes, the goal of a virtuous life is to become like God. As Jesus says, be you perfect as the heavenly Father is perfect. And as we, may, we make a habit of virtue, as we form a firm disposition within us to do good, this disposition, this habitual disposition that tends towards perfection, of our intellect and will, which governs the actions. Will lead us into that life of joy, as Jesus tells us in John chapter 15, verse 11. I have said these things to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Yes, let us pray for that habitual perfection of our intellect and will. For when our intellect and will is habituated to this perfection, to always choose what is perfect, what is the most perfect thing to be chosen, then, the, then our intellect and our will will govern our actions. And our passions will be in order. So let us implore the mercy of God that we may truly lead lives that are pleasing to Him, far from disorderly passions, far from being friends of the world. We may be friends of God, for those who are friends of the world are enemies of God. And it is a friend of God that we want to be. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You have expired, Jesus, but the source, source of, of life gushed forth, forth for souls. And, and the, the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fond of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fond of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fond of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fond of mercy for us, I trust, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, God the Father, Father the Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his only son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the, the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer here the body and blood. So divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, for those of the heart, for the sins. With sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole for the sake of the sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole for the sake. Sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake. Sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake. With sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy. body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole World. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son and our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i am for you the body and the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus cry in atonement for our sin for those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion and my 
mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion And the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Let us continue to offer ourselves today into God's merciful presence, we make an offering of our needs, we make an offering of also all our petitions and all our desires, which are already known by God at this time. As Jesus says, your Father knows what you need. So let us, keeping our trust in the Lord and telling Him, as we meditated on, the, uh, on this divine mystery chaplet, we believe today in the power of God and His mercy is upon us. Let us lift up both our hands today, making a, a total offering of our entire days ahead of us. All our worries and concerns at this time, 
And let us praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank praise Jesus. you, Jesus. Jesus. Pour forth your Lord. spirit, O oh God. Jesus, Jesus, and renew our hearts Lord, today. Like you, Lord. Renew Lord. our minds, Jesus. renew our intentions, O oh God, you, Jesus. In the power of Lord, your mighty Jesus. deliverance, God of Lord, Lord, fall upon Lord of us Lord, and King also of destroy you, the works of the enemy praise that be very Jesus. evident, O oh God, Glory in our journey you, as a Christian. Today, let the power of your deliverance, O God, be upon us. May the Jesus. Lord Jesus, awesome Hallelujah. and glorious, Glory powerful, O oh God, Jesus. love that you have thank for you, us, Lord. Lord. Be an experience of, of Lord Jesus, a liberation you, and the power thank that sets Jesus. us free thank within you, us. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, into thank your you, hands Lord. today, Glory we Jesus. submit thank all you, our needs thank and you, all, Lord, Lord Jesus, thank our you, habits thank you, Jesus. and habitual sinful patterns thank you, Lord. and all that thank separates you, us from you, O oh God, Jesus. today thank we lift up to you thank and let us praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come Thank Savior you, Lord, of the world, Alleluia. come Thank Redeemer, you, hope of all, all to you, people, Jesus. come Lord Thank Jesus, the light Jesus. of the world. Come, Thank Lord you, Jesus, Lord. today, Alleluia. sanctify Thank us. You, it is your word that heals us, Lord. Thank it you, is Lord. not Alleluia. medicine, Lord. as you as Jesus, God, you Jesus, said Jesus, through Jesus. the wisdom of Solomon 16, 12, we receive your Thank words. You, it is Alleluia. not Glory medicine that heals. Jesus. It is not anything of this world Jesus, or Jesus. human efforts that will bring us into the completion of an experience of your faithfulness, you, Lord. But you, your Jesus. word Praise today, you, we put our trust in your word. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Father. Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Come, Lord, Lord and Savior. Come, Lord, Lord Jesus, that your healing Jesus, love descend upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is healing a, a person of a chronic problem of the lungs. The Lord is, is, is touching you in a special way. The Lord is uh, revealing these names as Shailaja, uh, Bela, Janu, Tessi, Shanta, the Lord is revealing his love to you at this time. Maureen, Nagaraj, Felicia, is, Lord, you, uh, is guiding you today into what is desired by God in the discernments that you need. The, God, uh, the Lord of all compassion and love is guiding you. Someone, who's, uh, someone who had a wound that was passing and uh, was not getting healed. The Lord is uh, granting healing and the wound is drying up. There's a person who has a diseased liver. But the Lord is uh, granting his healing touch. Uh, Pushpa, Agatha, Grace, Krishnan, Swaroop, Karthik and Stella are being touched in a special way. Someone who's desiring marriage and yet encountering blocks. The Lord is granting the grace for this person to enter into the marriage state of life. A person with the hepatitis B is being touched. There is someone who wants to start their establishment. Um, the Lord is blessing this venture. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is uh, blessing and consoling a deep sadness in the heart of a few today who have been uh, treasuring all those sadness in the heart and has made you very inactive. The Lord is freeing you from the grip of sadness and the bondage of sadness today. Um, mercy, the Lord is touching you at this time. Uh, Mina, the Lord is touching you. And uh, today the Lord is also blessing a person in a very special way. Uh, maybe more than one who have uh, this prostate gland uh, problem, the Lord is touching you. And that is, the uh, Lord is also touching a person who has a chronic uh, back uh, issue at the, at the base of the uh, abdomen, the Lord is touching you at this time. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Father. Thank Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank Sini you, Lord. is being Shankar touched by the Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is an elderly lady Praise with some Jesus. kind of Thank genetic you, uh, disorder. 
the Lord is touching you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Continue to lift up your lives to the Lord at this time. The Lord is calling you. Lord is, you can hear his voice today within you. The Lord is speaking to you at this time. The ability to hear you, him Jesus. is Thank being you, given Jesus. to you. Thank you Praise you, Praise Jesus. You, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There is a person who is going in for a knee replacement surgery. Thank the you, Lord is Thank also Jesus. taking away your fear Thank and you, also Thank helping you, you in Jesus. these times, Jesus. also during the operation. So the Lord is reassuring Thank you, you of Thank his you, presence. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. You alone, O God, are worthy to receive the highest honor. Praise. We believe in the power of your Spirit at work in us at this time. Lord, we also lift up the fears, O oh God, Jesus, you, Jesus. that, Praise Lord Jesus, your Thank children you, Jesus. have within themselves today. Glory All the various Glory issues, O oh God, Jesus, Jesus, that Jesus. people are even scared to go to a doctor for, may miraculously be, Lord, healed Thank at Jesus. this time. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. You, Jesus. Thank Praise you, Lord. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You, Jesus. The Lord Jesus. is removing Jesus. fear from 14 of you in a special way. Some minor fears and also some major panic attack fears, the Lord is blessing and freeing you. Let us prepare to receive the blessing of the Lord. Let us uh, kneel down or we can take any position uh, today that is, opens our entire being to the blessing of the Lord and honoring his loving presence today. Let us continue to praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, praise you, Jesus. Lord, Come, Jesus. shepherd of Jesus. our soul. Jesus. Come, Jesus. Lord Jesus. May our longing, O oh God, Lord, Jesus, be for Lord. you Thank over you, everything Jesus. else in this Jesus. life, in this world. Thank Come, you, Savior Thank of the you, world, Jesus. Redeemer praise of our Jesus. lives. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Touch and anoint our lives, Lord. Make us worthy. O oh God, to serve you, to love you, thank to you, live Jesus, for your glory praise, all the days you, given to thank us. You, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank Lord, you, Lord, we praise you, Lord, we exalt Lord, you, your holy Jesus, and mighty Jesus, name. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise, praise you, Jesus. O sacrament most Lord, holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, sacrament most holy, holy O sacrament, sacrament divine, all praise, praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.